Okay, okay, lighting's not half bad today. I might be able to get on with this. Hey guys, it's Riley and welcome to my channel on this lovely Tuesday. On today's trans education video, I am going to be talking to you guys about labels. The fact of the matter is, labels exist whether you like it or not. And the purpose of labels is for self-identification. It brings people comfort and it brings people joy to be able to identify with a certain thing. It gives an individual it gives an individual a sense of belonging and brings them closer with people who identify the same way. And that's why I personally believe labels are important because if you are able to self-identify as a certain thing, you can also find other people who self-identify as the same or similar things and you can build a community off of that. Oh, but Riley, you fight to get rid of labels. That's what all you queer people do. No. What I do, and what a lot of queer people do, I think, is fight to get rid of stereotypes attached to labels. A lot of people think that they can label other people, but really labels are just there for self-identification. I personally identify with the labels gay and trans, and that is something that I'm okay with other people calling me. But other people might not be comfortable with other people labeling them. And that's perfectly okay, because I know I'm not comfortable with others outright labeling me as a certain thing or someone who does certain things. People have every right to label themselves within what they want, but they don't have a right to label others. Labels were created for people to categorize themselves and find others who identify similar. And that's why a lot of the queer community, I think, identifies with labels. Because that means we find other people who have similar interests, we find other people who think the same way that we do. So when someone says, oh, aren't you guys all trying to fight the labels? No, I I think we're all just trying to fight the stereotypes that some people think are associated with the labels. If you don't like labels, that's fine and dandy, but you don't have a right to judge someone who does and does identify with a label. You don't have to use labels either. If you don't want to use a label, you don't have to use a label. But if you do want to use a label, feel free to go ahead and use a label because it's your life and you can identify however you choose. I personally enjoy identifying with labels because it gives me a sense of belonging. It helps me find other people who think similar to me. It helps me find a community that I am actually comfortable being in. But I know there are communities of people who don't like identifying with labels, and for those who don't want to identify with one, those are good communities for you. So all in all, labels are not a good or a bad thing. They are just a thing that is. Identifying with them is okay. Not identifying with them is okay. It's whatever you personally choose to do. And that's basically the gist of it. That's why labels are in use and that's why they're used and that's why I use them and I feel like that's probably why a lot of other people use them. So I think that's all I have to say on the matter. If you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Are you a type of person who identifies with labels or who doesn't identify with labels? I'm really looking forward to going through those comments and reading and replying to some of them. If you happen to enjoy this video a lot you might want to subscribe to my channel because I post two videos a week, one on Tuesdays, one on Thursdays, and that is two videos a week coming your way. I've also been doing weekly vlogs over on my side channel. If you want to check those out, the link to my side channel will be below. Also, if you just search Extra Riley Kyle, it'll come up. If you want to see all of my rants and talks like this in real time, make sure you follow me on all of my social media. It is at The Riley Kyle. The links to everything I have will be below. I think one of my most active ones is Twitter and Snapchat. I think those two are like hella active of me just speaking my mind all the time. So if you want to hear or see that, make sure you go follow me on those networks. And yeah, I think that's all I have to say. So I love you guys and I will see you on Thursday. Okay, bye.